were still vassal slaves. Slaves were just in prettier cages. Oh my god. We're only getting started. Good evening, I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Joe. Our main headlines tonight. David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio, and you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it, and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Followed at 8 p.m. by award winning documentary series, The Shape of Now. Right, won't be long now till the signal starts coming through from the station. Stay on your toes, all the bigwigs are in tonight because of the election, so we better not make any mistakes. Sit back and relax with multiple award winning movie, The Freedom. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, poor on a mayonnaise. You don't see if you make me go Yeah, Every day, you offer me prawns every day. Seconds, everybody. Finally, You're trying to kill weather and yet you persist. Going five, five four. But now it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. For the good evening. Night. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys honors Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hansley wins Sports Personality of the Year and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Bonderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic. Right, button That's two, in tonight. three, That's two, one, now. Lovely mate. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that slider that's flashing, or your scroll wheel, to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. 
The opposition parties have all conceded the future to advance his overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now, the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leader's acceptance. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill out the ads. What? Why? Lancaster Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. It's the same policy we used. I thought that was our little secret. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Are you? Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Welcome back to Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners in advance. But first, our ready to go to Megan on screen four. Megan Wolf is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture Thank correspondent. You, and today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the shop. Right, go to on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you. That being with you here today is among Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, medicated. what was that like? Yes. Well, as I said to Peter well, at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter... What a wild ride this has been. What a wild you know what, ride this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely. Was that a challenge a at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, really although those three awards. little statues do take those pride of place on my medal uh, With all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it, the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Mm. Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will Cut. bleed. And, and often, will bleed. that's how it feels, often. doesn't it? That's how it feels. Doesn't it? Bleeding. Doesn't it? Giving. Bleeding. Suffering Giving. for one's audience. Suffering. Been on that short I suppose long. in the end I do it for the difference it I makes. suppose in the end I do it. I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people. The little people. 
But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, (laughs) we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, (laughs) well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. Difficult, isn't it? I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to strive not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh, well, don't worry, he won't do it again. He did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. ...medicated, which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. She's losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's more interference coming. It's a bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, or hold down your middle mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging right. You think I don't know that? Now we're going to squash the frequency back by dragging left. No, Lance, we mustn't. Doctor Lance to you, Miss Flanagan. Chubbly, no! mate. See you, baby. Next, we're going to change the amplitude. Same as last time. Little joystick or hold alt to a middle mouse, and this time push upwards. Upwards, mate. Upwards. But I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance. You said. You need to see this. No, it's not. Right now, let's match it back by going downwards. exploring Bombly, you can relax and come good you're set to start censoring like i say it takes a little practice but i'll try and help you through it and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro remember button lights up count one two and hold it down more than two areas of outstanding natural interest isn't it time you're a remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed don't wait for the podcast to go live that's too late you can use the number buttons on your keyboard one to four the country seriously we've had worse five four three welcome back and I'm told we can now go well, live to advance headquarters I'm told we can now where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to 
to the outside broadcast. Go oh, for it, Pat. Get ready okay. to well, uh, Thank you all for coming. And, well, thank you all where do coming. I start? Well, what a day. They said we what couldn't do it. They certainly did. They, they used they every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard down. trick they had against us. But you, the people, nice. you saw right people. through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. Makes me coarser than the grand is funny. Coarser than the Memorably put. Perfect. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Honest, who can blame Peter Throughout the campaign, celebrating? you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's Except over. They shouldn't be celebrating. The they, shouldn't they should be, be putting their shitting pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, no. colourful to put, but Again, not inaccurate. <laughs> Before we came out here to address the nation, we, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know the sort. Of, probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds. Funds or creative accounting, a simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. The people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And, and tomorrow, today. we'll start making and it fair again. We'll start making just it like fair. we promised we would. Just and until like then, ladies and gents, and until then, ladies I suggest we all get pissed. <laughs> I can't I argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech well, there from the leader. Interesting well. acceptance speech and, our and our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. If not, Someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. Right, looks like you've got Good it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Ferry. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Uh, boring politics, then. Is this some weird fever dream? Am I dying now or something? You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered.
quick look back at what you've done and how it looked to the public. There's three sections, broadcast, rushes and adverts. Let's start with broadcast, click on it now. Over on the left, that's all the broadcasts that you've done. Click on any one of them and hit load tape. Once it's finished loading, you can use the rewind and the fast forward at the bottom there to help you get to the bit you want to see. In a few moments, we'll be going live to tonight's national nightly news. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on tonight on Channel One. At seven o'clock, it's the semi-final of the quotation game, and it's a nail-biting quiz tonight as a team of nuclear physicists take on. Four old ladies from East Quinton. That's following eight PM by award-winning documentary series The Shape of Now, which tonight. Is- <laughs> Controversy as global mega corporation Remington Fist buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hams leaves wins Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star. Leaders of this These aren't my cards. Please tell me these aren't my cards. No, they're the right ones, apparently. Oh, but this gives me nothing, Jenny. They must see that. I oh, know. I think they think he won't have anything to say. Oh, for God's sake, come on. It's a huge day. <laughs> it's not an... Absolute bonehead. I don't care, Rob. I'm not doing it. I agreed to do one beastly interview a day. I made that completely clear when we started. Check my contract. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. You're on thin bloody ice, Rob. Whole wheat, man. Whole wheat. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Getting in five, four, three... Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later we'll be hearing from shock election winners. <laughs> 